Okay, morning folks, and welcome to the briefing on Friday the 21st. Looking at this chart, if this was the middle of summer, and the forecast um, went true to form, we'd have about 70 people in the brown elephant, all expecting a briefing. But all we've got is about half a dozen, you know, clutching cups of tea and trying to keep warm with their coats still on. So it is the winter, unfortunately. But, you know, high pressure's certainly uh, done its job for us so far this month. This one sort of stabilised over the UK yesterday, and it's just slowly sliding south um, at the moment, giving us light westerly, northwesterly flow across the south of England. And even the winds at flying heights are, are not very strong. And we're not going to see any effect from this front for a, a number of days. Uh, the TAFs, well, that, if you look at that, you'd say that's a great summer forecast, a few at four and a half thousand feet. Light westerly wind to 63 knots, absolutely fantastic. Uh, pretty good for this time of year, really. Uh, if we do get some cumulus, which all the sort of forecasts are suggesting we might, uh, it'd be great if it was some soaring up to sort of 4,000 feet. It'd be pretty good for January. Um, this is going to be pretty good, I think. Looks reasonable out there. It's not to, as if the high pressure has really clamped down and reduced the visibility. Upper winds halfway between the two they're, they're sort of this is middle of the country i think they are 10 to 15 knots from the northwest down over us we're much much closer to the center of the high so it'll be light um north northwesterly five knots probably at flying heights uh, let's say light westerly on the ground the sat pick let's just refresh this and you can see um, there's a, a sort of wedge of fog over over sort of the Midlands, really, and that was forecast yesterday um, to be there and sit there for quite a while. Uh, it doesn't look like it's moving anywhere just at the moment. It will burn off, but we're quite clear to the south. It means our temperatures got down a little bit lower last night so i think minus two and three in places it'll take a little while to warm up and get above freezing but once it does i think temperature wise you're looking at sort of seven eight degrees probably around here so with the light winds it's going to feel quite pleasant maybe not quite enough to encourage you to take your coat off during the middle of the day but it'll be pleasant enough and the top meteo forecast uh, looking at cloud first of all doesn't quite pick up the the stuff in the midlands but it suggests some of it might stay there for most of the day that's 12 o'clock and we're starting to see you know they've got little bits of white bits here so yes yeah, possibly cumulus few uh, around uh, from the afternoon probably from one 12 one o'clock onwards and you know quite pleasant all day soaring wise look at what thermal predictions they're they're giving us they're being less optimistic sort of saying maybe five or six hundred meters uh, but we'll see a bit of luck we might get to a bit of local soaring good for january okay so a very pleasant day um light west northwesterly winds even at flying heights sunny of light north northwesterly sunny all day should be rather nice um, airspace is quiet as you can imagine not a lot going on through here uh, the usual things at southampton and uh, the solvey plane danger area nothing of interest to us and this one just here is is paragliders they've no time that there might be activity um, at westbury but nothing else going on in in our area here um just a note, having a briefing from the Southampton airspace team yesterday, and we're talking about airspace infringements. Uh, and amazingly, you know, there are very, very few airspace infringements uh, east of us over Farnborough. Most of the airspace infringements are down here to the south and up here to the north. So, you know, keep it up, folks. We're uh, we're keeping our nose clean. Uh, operationally today, I'll just. Quickly show you what we've got movement-wise. Um, 
today, this is it really, hopefully at the moment, it's a King Air 200 coming in uh, sometime in the morning. They're, they're talking about 10.30 local. Um, that's a reasonably big aeroplane. So we may well move off the runway for that because um, you know, light winds and that size aeroplane landing over the top, but we'll see. Uh, it's coming in in theory at 10.30 and disappearing off um, at four o'clock. So it'd be fairly late. Uh, we'd probably be in the throes of packing up by then. And I think that's something to do with the business um, meeting that they've got over at 2EE with the military. Okay, so that's about it. We'll be set up on 2.7. Grass should be fine. It'll be a relatively normal um, operation. Cables coming down the north side grass, then the gliders for the winch launch, launch point vehicle in the middle and air towing just from the southern edge of the runway. So folks, the hangar doors are open. Temperatures should stabilize. So fingers crossed when we pull the gliders out of the hangar, uh, they won't immediately frost up. And we'll get going fairly shortly. <laughs> 